Hey friends, welcome back. Hey, good morning. Today we're at Luke chapter 11. We're going to look at verses 21 through 23. Straight to it. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his own palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he comes upon him and overcomes him, he takes from him all his armor in which he trusted and divides his spoils. He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters. So I want to ask you a question. Is Jesus the strong man? Is Jesus stronger than Satan? Is Jesus able to uh, strip away, to take away from Satan his prey? Is Jesus stronger? Why, of course he's stronger. Notice what we have here, the example of a strong man. When, he's, when a strong man comes, he can take whatever he needs to. Jesus is the, the creator God. He's the, the, that God in person. Focus with me at verse 22 for a minute. When a stronger than he comes along, Jesus is stronger. Jesus is God. And he takes from him all his armor in which he trusted. That's what happens. So Jesus is able to deliver. Jesus is able to save us and to take us away from the lion's mouth, even though we're being dragged away because we've sinned and the devils are trying to destroy. Jesus is able. Will we just give ourselves to him? Will we submit to him and surrender to him? He is the stronger man. We serve, we have the blessing of being servants of the stronger one, and that is the God of heaven and earth, Jesus himself. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, uh, we don't want to scatter. We want to be right. Lord, we're glad that you are strong. Although we are weak, you are strong. That's actually good. It helps us to trust in you instead of ourselves. Help us, Lord, to be very careful to find out what you want, would have us to do so that we won't be scattering or causing distraction, but help us to point others to the strong man, Jesus, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, may the strong man have his hand upon you today and strengthen you and I with his might, his blessings for you. May his blessings be upon you today.